Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in the past few days, Citra, the 3DS emulator, has seen an absolutely massive performance update. In this video, I'm going to take a look at exactly that update, showing you all of its new features and exactly why if you are a Citra user, you should definitely update to this new version. If you've never used Citra before, please let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do a new setup guide for this brand new version of the emulator. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Pokemon Ultra Sun, one of the most demanding games on this emulator and on the 3DS itself. Let's jump across to the desktop and see exactly what performance is like over there. Okay, so here we are, we're finally loaded into game. As you can see, my performance metrics are right up here. You can see that we are not using much of our GPU or CPU, however we are still rendering at 60 or 30 FPS, technically it's 30 FPS, but your overlays will show it as 60. We are also basically at the stock configuration settings of this emulator. Let's just come into our configuration window, we pretty much want to change nothing here, we want to change nothing in system, and this is where you will set up your inputs if you have never used Citra before. Coming across to the graphics tabs though is where it gets very interesting. We have this limit speed percentage and we can actually change this to a percentage that we wish. As you can see, when I switched it to 90%, our frame rate dipped. Let's just come back into this menu and set this back to 100% because we realistically don't want the game going past 100%. There we go, we're switched back to 60 FPS. Okay, so when we come back into the configure and graphics tab, you can see that we are rendering using OpenGL, so we are using our GPU, but as of right now, we are only using our CPU for shader emulation. You can see when I unlimit this speed restriction, our FPS absolutely goes through the roof. We are now rendering at 184 FPS. You can also basically see that when you move around, it is at super speed. Okay, let's come back to the emulation tab, configure, back to graphics and we are now going to change the internal resolution of the game once we set our speed back to normal. Let's come back to configure again, come to the graphics tab and we're going to leave it at CPU, however we are going to absolutely crank our native resolution up to 10x. The game looks absolutely amazing when you turn this up to 10x, you don't even need to have a screen that is compatible with this resolution, it will super sample the resolution and make the game look awesome and smooth just like this. When we come back to configure and we unlimit our speed once again, you can see that even though we are still rendering at 10 times the previous resolution, we are still getting 183, 184 FPS. However, the real challenge will come when we move outside. For anybody who has played this game in the past, you will definitely know that slowdown always occurred when you moved outside of the first house in the game. We are running at like 70, 80 FPS right now and we aren't even using the newly implemented GPU features. Let's turn on GPU and watch my frame rate in the top corner right here. Once we start using our GPU, we have jumped straight up to over 200 FPS in game and we are basically running around like the flash. I really, really couldn't believe it when I turned this feature on and saw what kind of performance I was getting. Even on my other system that has a 3770 and a GTX 680, I was getting well over 150, 160 FPS in this exact same area where previously I would have struggled to get 30 or 40. Okay, let's head straight into long grass and see what the battle screen is now like. In previous versions of this emulator, this small loading screen when it is pulling through the grass, I always got slowed down, especially on my slower system with the 3770. However, on the newer versions, it is absolutely buttery smooth, 60 FPS at all times. Now, not only this, but we also have absolutely perfect emulation of both Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, which is absolutely awesome because these two games are absolutely brilliant. Now, another thing you can actually do with this speed up when you unlimit your FPS is you can basically speed run your way around the map and get to places much, much quicker. All you need to do is come to configure, graphics, and you want to unlimit your speed percentage. This will basically let you run around at about three or four times the speed you normally would and get around the island much, much quicker. So there we go, guys, a very quick look at this new build of Citra Emulator. 
As I previously said, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a new setup guide for this emulator version. As always, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all of the patrons over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. If it wasn't for all of you awesome guys, I literally wouldn't be able to make half of the videos that I already do. If you want to get your name featured on this list, as well as some other cool benefits over on the BSOD Gaming Discord, you can find a link to both of those down in the video description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.